It's your life. It's your move. These are words of empowerment meant to encourage individuals and families who come to us in crisis at one of the lowest points in their lives that change is possible. What are the moves that we are prepared to make in our lives? To be responsible for our neighbors, to be accountable for our community. My story was fundamentally a positive story because of my grandparents. Uh, I, I did not grow up in a stable nuclear family. My mom and dad couldn't take especially good care of me, in large part because of opioid addiction, which has become the topic du jour these days. But back when I was a kid, I didn't quite understand why mom would take pills that were intended for pain to dull not physical pain, but emotional pain. The lesson of my life was that community matters that the people in your life, that your family, that your neighborhood, that the nonprofit organization and business institutions that surround you, they can create either circumstances that make it possible for poor children to rise or they can make it harder. Now, I talk about my mammal a lot and, and, and with good reason, but it wasn't just mammal, there was also my aunt, my uncle, my sister, there were teachers that I had at school. There were the child welfare workers who probably knew that things were a little bit worse than they might have expected, but they turned a blind eye because they knew that we were so terrified of losing access to our mammal. I come from the millennial generation where I know a lot of really smart, ambitious, talented people who when they think about helping the disadvantaged, they think about how can I go to Congress and pass a law that's gonna make a difference for 10 million people. But very often the differences that matter most are not the superficial differences for 10 million people, but the really, really deep differences for 10 people. And because I know this is an organization that's trying to make really, really deep differences for 10 people, for one family at a time, I'm honored to be here, and I'm so grateful that you guys are doing the work you're doing, and I hope you keep it up. Thank you so much. We started funding Life Moves in 2008 and they have continued to raise the bar. They have a model that works, pairing housing with comprehensive services, helping families and individuals get on a path to self-sufficiency. I wanted so much for the staff to know that I was not homeless because I was a bad person. I was homeless because of the choices that I had made without understanding the consequences. I now know that I had made bad decisions. I didn't go to college. I had kids at a very young age and with a man who didn't really care about us and who wasn't there for us. But I had also made good decisions. Today, my sweet little Jalen is attending Head Start in San Mateo. And Julian is a big kindergartner at San Miguel Elementary in Sunnyvale. I'm a full-time supervisor at Veterinary Centers of America in San Carlos. And incredibly, Life Moves has impacted three generations of my family. My father, my siblings and me, and now my children. I am incredibly grateful for this, and I'm incredibly grateful to all of you who made this possible. I remember back on our first night at Family Crossroads, my children asked me why we had moved again. And I told them that Life Moves had invited us for a sleepover. All of you invited us for that sleepover. The volunteers who staged our rooms, the donors who provided all our necessities, the staff who helped me build confidence and skills, and all of you who made it possible. All of you as part of Life Moves transformed the lives of families, my family. Thank you Life Moves and thank you Chelsea for everything, for helping us to break our cycle of homelessness. <laughs> is a place where families can get the break they need to hopefully get their children stable. And that rapid return to housing, it's so important for the kids. And that's really why I stay involved because I know that getting those kids back into stable housing is gonna have the best long-term prognosis for them to have a stable life. This was a very inspiring experience uh, for me, certainly. Thank you.
Most importantly, we know that you all are having an impact. With 17 sites serving 700 people every night, you guys are one of the largest housing providers in Northern California. And your work gives determined people a reason to believe they can make progress and break the cycle of poverty. Life moves as family.